Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's video we're going to be discussing some of the amazing incredible planets or specifically exoplanets that we actually discovered in 2017, many of which might potentially be habitable and Earth-like. Anyway, welcome to What The Math. So right now you're looking at one such planet and as you can see in Space Engine it actually does look surprisingly Earth-like. Today we're going to discuss at least five uh, locations in our galaxy where we discovered these unusual objects, many of which lie in the habitable zone of their home stars and many of which might even have liquid water or potentially even atmosphere for us to survive on. So, what exactly is this object? Well, this is the object we discussed previously in one of the videos, and it's an exoplanet known as LHS 1140b. As you can see here, it's also known as Temperate Marine Super Terra, but we don't really know exactly what it looks like because it is obviously a little bit too far away from us. If you want to find out how far, you look at Earth point at it and you can see that it's a distance of almost 41 light years away. So in terms of galactic terms, it's actually pretty close. In terms of human terms, it is still pretty far. Uh, this particular object orbits a red dwarf uh, known as LHS 1140 and this planet is uh, located in its habitable zone so there is a chance for it to actually have liquid water. This is the first object we discovered in 2017, or actually we discovered it earlier, but we did confirm it in 2017, making sure that this is a planet and it's located where we thought it's located. We originally saw the data for this object back in 2013, but it wasn't confirmed for at least four years. Number two on the list is going to be the most famous discovery of 2017. And as a matter of fact, we have several planets here to kind of dream about. And this is, of course, TRAPPIST-1. In TRAPPIST-1 system, we have a tremendous amount of choices. There's seven terrestrial planets here. We don't really know if any of them are habitable. We don't even know if any of them have liquid water. What we know, though, is that this is probably the biggest discovery of the decade. And it's very likely the system that gives us the highest chance of having some kind of a potentially habitable world. If I were to actually try to go to each or at least some of the planets here, three um, right here give us the highest chance. Now the problem with all of these planets is that they're probably tightly locked, so they're always facing with the same side to their um, home star, and because of that the liquid water might only exist on one side. So on the side that's facing the star, the opposite side would probably be very, very cold. And so three planets here in the simulation do have liquid water, but also a very large ice shelf. Also because TRAPPIST-1 is a red dwarf and very, very active red dwarf, there is a very high chance that the flares that you see happening right now might have actually stripped quite a lot of stuff from these planets. So all of this will be discovered in, in the years to come, but for now, this is definitely the most exciting planetary system. Let's go to the other exciting discovery of 2017. One of the closest exoplanets to us in the habitable zone of its uh, home star, unfortunately not exactly well represented in Space Engine, a planet by the name of Ross 128b. This planet you can see somewhat well represented here, but unfortunately this is not super realistic. This is what it might look like as well. So it might also be tidally locked, it might also have liquid water on only on one side and a huge ice shelf uh, next to it. And that's of course because Ross is also a red dwarf. Uh, but the cool thing about the, all of this is that this is one of the closest objects to us at a distance of just under 11 light years. So with Proxima B, this might be actually one of the first worlds we might be able to explore in upcoming future trips, as soon as we we'll figure out how to get here. Right now we don't really have a better idea. So Ross 128 is definitely something to look forward to, and there might even be other planets here that we might discover in the future. Mostly because we think that Ross 128 is somewhat similar to TRAPPIST-1 
in many respects, and so we expect more terrestrial planets to be located in here. Another discovery um, at a far, far away distance of like over 2000 light years away is in the system of Kepler 90. Now here we've, we've already uh, discovered quite a lot of planets. As a matter of fact, if you were to actually look at the list, there's already seven planets we, we knew about before, but then we actually found the eighth. Now, unfortunately, this is not in Space Engine just yet, but it is a world that um, would be somewhat similar to Venus and would be relatively hot because it is kind of close to its parent star. But interestingly, we actually discovered this particular planet by using a new technique with artificial intelligence where basically AI um, skims through data and tries to identify potential exoplanets. So this wasn't actually found by people, but it was found by the artificial intelligence uh, developed by Google and NASA. Well, that's pretty exciting, but there's also other planets in the system that might be exciting. Of course, this is at a distance of 2,500 light years away from us, so this is really, really, really far away. We will probably not get here for quite some time. Light from this star takes 2,500 years to reach us. How long do you think it will take us? Anyway, moving on to the next object. A star that's very similar to our own sun, known as Tau Ceti. Now, this particular system is very exciting for us. It's actually very, very sun-like. As a matter of fact, we think if we were to find an Earth-like object, it would probably be in a system that's similar to Tau Ceti. And in 2017, we discovered new planets here. Now, a lot of these are procedural generated, so they're not actually super realistic, but they do show us what we might actually see here if we were to come here one day. So we discovered two planets here. We discovered Tau Ceti E and Tau Ceti F. I don't really have a better simulation of them, so I'm gonna just use these two. But they are two super Earths with mass much, much bigger than that of Earth, thus higher gravity, and probably because of this higher temperatures and maybe even more atmosphere and more everything else. So they are potentially habitable, but in the same way that Venus it could be potentially habitable, we would need to seriously terraform these two planets and make them a lot more comfortable for us to live on. Now, there were actually a lot more um, exoplanets discovered in 2017, and some of them were potentially habitable, or at least terrestrial, or maybe even Earth-looking. One that I can think of that unfortunately we don't have in Space Engine right now is Kepler-1652b, another exoplanet that is very similar to Earth and is located in habitable region of its star. But unfortunately, we don't have it in any of the simulations just yet because it's a relatively recent discovery. Maybe we'll talk more about this particular object in the future, but for now, just remember that there is definitely a lot of planets out there we haven't really found. And many of them might actually be a lot like our own Earth or at least one of the other rocky planets in our own solar system that could be habitable, terraformable, and maybe even become a new home for our species. And anyway, that's all I wanted to mention in this video. These are some of the most incredible terrestrial planets discovered in 2017. And hopefully this year brings us a lot more discoveries as well. I'll see you guys tomorrow, thank you so much for watching, subscribe if you still haven't, and maybe even potentially support this channel on Patreon. I'll see you tomorrow, space out, and as always, bye bye.